Hello kids, welcome to our ICT session. Today we are here to learn about computer networks. But before going into detail, we will see what is a network. What is a network? Network is nothing but where thousands and millions of people are connected to each other. In the same way, a computer network is also a network where thousands or millions of computers are connected to each other. But why they are connected? What is the need of a computer network? What we are doing with that? To communicate with the other person, we are using the computer network. Yes, nowadays we are sending messages in WhatsApp, we are sending messages in Facebook, Messenger, Yahoo, etc. So what we are doing? We are all using the computer network. Through computer network only we are sending the messages through some network. But for all these things, what do we require? We need the internet. And only can we send only the messages? Only mess for the messaging purpose we use computer networks? No, we can use them for the connecting the different peripherals available in the computer. What are the different peripherals? Mom, you said communicating. Again, now you are saying peripherals. But how communicating and peripherals are connected to each other? Yes, for this, I'll just give you a small example. I have a printer at my home. If I want to take a printout. What do I do? Will I go to the printer and say that take a paper and print on that saying that this is our ICT class or welcome to Sri Chaitanya. Will it give that in, uh, print out to me? First of all, with the, will the printer respond to me? No. Why? I sent a message. I asked the printer to give me a message. Or give the printout. But why it is not giving? What is wrong in that? Yes. Because I cannot directly communicate to a printer. Because it is not a human being. It is a hardware device. Or it is a peripheral. But it is connected through some network to our computer. But sitting in, at, in front of my laptop. If I give the command print. Whatever information I want to give, my name is XYZ and if I say that this has to be printed on a paper in very bold letters, what I'll do, I'll just go to print command and then give the print option. Then only the printer will respond to me. Or else, for example, if speakers are there, I'm very fond in listening songs. That to A.R. Rahman songs, I'm very fond of listening. So what do I do? I'm standing in front of a speaker like this, I'll ask the speakers, yes, I want to uh, listen to Dil Se movie songs. Will the speakers directly play the songs for me? No. For that, I need to send some message or that speakers have need to be connected to my computer. Then only I can Play the songs whichever I want to listen. So this is called as hardware sharing. And the next we have software sharing. What is software sharing? Yes, software sharing is nothing but uh, if simply I say that tomorrow is a holiday for you people. Will you all accept it? If I say verbally, no. Why? I am saying that tomorrow is a holiday. Then why, why can't you accept it? Because you did not get any information from your higher authorities. Yes, unless and until we get the information from the higher authorities, then only we will accept that whatever message we got is correct. If I say that tomorrow I am going to take a slip test and the computer networks chapter but are you ready for that why are you not ready for that i said only to one boy saying that tomorrow i'm going to conduct the exam but other children will not get ready for that because 
the information which is passed by me is not received by all the other students so server client model okay in the what is server and client we will see in detail in the coming classes next we have communication what is communication now i am trying to communicate to you people but what i am doing while communicating i am trying to give i am trying to give you some information or i am trying to get some information from you if a person is standing behind me or beside me i if i want any information from him what i'll do i try to communicate to that person or else if i go and stand with him direct with beside him silently like this for a couple of seconds that person will be thinking that what happened to this lady is she mad or what she is not at all communicating or she is not at all telling me what she wants but simply standing but if i say that please can you give me that bag from there that means i'm trying to communicate to him to uh, give me that bag from there so i'm using some language so this is called as communication next we have internet sharing what is the next one we have it is internet sharing what is sharing first hmm okay shall i tell you what is sharing i say that i have 10 apples with me but i have 11 students in front of me i have 10 apples and i have 11 students with me so i say that i have only 10 apples and i want you 11 people to share that so what do i do i call one of the girl and i say that see my dear i have 10 apples with me i am giving you this 10 apples to you take this 10 apples and share among you so what i am doing i am sharing the information to him yes but if i say that i'll call the class monitor and i say tomorrow we have a field trip that means i am telling her to pass this information in the class if i'm busy with some other work i say that please pass this information in the class or ask your class teacher to give a diary note saying that tomorrow we are going for a field trip but mom you said internet sharing but now you're discussing about apples and field trip etc but how is it related yes in internet sharing we share the images we share the documents we share our ppts we share audios we share the videos etc all these things are done using the internet sharing the last one we are going to learn is about reliability what we are going to learn is about reliability the reliability best example is our lab what is that it is n computing why we are using why you are saying that n computing what happens if my main server system is locked down what happens no other system will work yes if i have a laptop and desktop and if both are connected if this is not working even that system will also not work so this is the reliability so what are the advantages of computer network we learn till now they are hardware sharing software sharing communication internet sharing and the last one we learned is about reliability i hope till here everyone is clear and understood what i explained you next i think most of the kids and even i like to play games we have indoor games we have outdoor games so from at a moment whoever is sitting and watching this video might be thinking that 
are we in the ICT class or somewhere else? Because mom said that we are learning about computer networks, but now mom is saying about games. Are we in a PET class or we are in an ICT class? Yes, you people are in ICT class only. But how is it related to our computers? The for the users. What uses? So now I'm going to tell you what are the uses of computer networking. The uses of computer networking, some of the uses are like we have e-commerce, we have video conference, we have instant messaging, we have emails, etc. So before I end, I just want to tell you, we all, uh, I hope everyone knows what is video conferencing. If you don't know, I'll just explain you what is video conferencing. One of my friend is in Bombay and other friend is in Chennai, other friend is in Bangalore. So what do I do? I want to talk to them. And my company is located in Hyderabad and my friends are working in these three places. So what the work they are doing, I want to take the information from them. So I take a conference call. Normal conference call is just speaking over a phone. But here I want to see whether that person is available in that location or not. For example, your Zoom classes. Why a teacher is asking you to switch on your video? Simply to see your face every day? I know the teachers get very excited and they feel very happy by seeing the ch children's face or the student's face every day. But the ch teacher must know what that kid is doing, what that child is doing, whether that child is listening or he is playing or is chit-chatting with his small younger brother or he is eating or he is drinking, what he is doing. So for that, what we are doing? We are asking you to switch on the video so that we know what you people are doing. This is called as video conferencing. Now, do you, I am very fond of shopping. But in this pandemic period, I am unable to go out to Reliance Trends or Max and to purchase the dresses. So what do I do? Using the e-commerce. That is, sitting at my home, I will just order what type of dress I want, what type of things I need to be brought to my home, etc. These all things are brought from the e-commerce. Next we have e-messaging, that is email. What we are doing? We are sending the e messages, we are sending images, we are sending greeting cards, etc. Next, uh, I have 10 close friends. We all are very fond of playing games. Okay, so what I do, we have one game where a single user can be played in that game and I can play with the multiple users also. So what do I do? I just ask them that, okay, we all will play at a time. So this is called as multi-user gaming. Next we have instant messaging. Yes, what we are doing in instant messaging? I am just sending a message. And I am receiving the message in the instant messaging. Will you all agree? Yes. So these are some of the uses. What are some of the uses? Like we have email, we have video conferencing, we have instant messaging, we have e-commerce, etc. What are the uses of computer network? Now we are going to learn about the different components. What are the different components available in computer network? We have NIC, that is, some may be thinking that my mom is saying NIC, she can call it as Nick, but it is not a person's name, it is a component name. What is the full form of NIC? It is Network Interface Card. As the name suggests, it is an interface card, that means it is a card which is located inside the motherboard or inside your CPU and it has a unique physical address to communicate with other computers or between the other 
peripherals or other devices which are connected to your network or to your computer. This is called as NIC. That means what it is having? The main feature it has is a unique physical address. And the next one we are going to learn is about client server model. What is client server model? The best example we can take here is the our um, chief minister and the ministers who are available in Telangana. Right? Are the ministers taking their own decisions to do whatever they want? Like if they want to develop any city, are they doing by themselves? No. Unless and until they get the information from chief minister, they are not going forward to do that. Right? But is the chief minister is also doing the same? No. Unless and until he gets the information from prime minister, that is Mr. Narendra Modi, then only he will go forward. Now, for example, we all know that we are going through a pandemic period, right? So, to unlock or to give permission for educational institutions or to give permission for other things, what we are doing? First, the Prime Minister is giving the charge to Chief Ministers or he is asking the Chief Ministers. That means the Chief Ministers are getting the information from the Prime Minister. The hierarchy is Prime Minister, Chief Minister and next the Ministers are coming into our picture. Right? This, so, now you can think that we are learning about computer networks. Then why our Chief Minister, K Mr. KCR came into the uh, our uh, class? Why Mr. Narendra Modi, our Prime Minister came into the class? And why the other ministers are coming into the class? Yes, I just wanted you to explain the server and client model. That means server is nothing but it is a place where all the information is stored and all the clients will get the information from the server only. Clients alone cannot take the decision or clients cannot do whatever they want to do. Like now for example, if I say that tomorrow is a holiday for you people, will you accept? You will never accept. You will say that, Mom, how come you know that tomorrow is a holiday? But if I say that, tomorrow, from central office I got a message saying that tomorrow is a holiday. Please declare it in the branch. If I say that only you people will accept. Otherwise you will never accept that tomorrow is a holiday. Only on relying on my words. So this is a thing of server client model. In this session, we have learnt about what is computer network, what is the use of computer network, what are the different advantages of computer network we have learnt. What are the different advantages of computers? Yes, you have learnt about the five things. What are those five things? Can you recall it? Yes, first one is hardware sharing, second one is software, Third is communication, internet sharing and the last one is reliability and we learnt about the components of computer network. Finally, we learnt even the uses of the computer network where a computer network can be used. Hope everyone liked the session kids. Thank you.